You're right guys, how's it going? Welcome back to some more Ultimate Road to Glory. We need to start off by completing some of these Black Friday squad building challenges. So if you weren't aware, yesterday at 2 p.m. during the afternoon UK time, Black Friday started and EA were doing the flash events for SBCs and also the packs. Or well, to be honest, the SBCs, they released two to my knowledge. I was a little bit, well, I was a little bit disappointed. I thought I was going to be able to get rid of quite a few of my unwanted cards and get some uh, decent packs in return. That wasn't the case though. I woke up this morning morning to see quite a few of these. I am interested in completing the 82 rated guaranteed one, although it is untradeable, it's still pretty decent, see what we get. Team of the week tradable, yes, I'm not going to be completing this one. You're basically needing the same team, however, with that one you're needing to include two team of the week players. So it kind of just makes sense to go for the tradable one. You can buy Gonalongs for 10,000 coins and also a couple of the other informs. Uh, Premier League guarantee, I think we'll do a couple of these, the rest of them I may even leave. I've got one pack saved, I want to play that on your screen right now. I did use the special Mandzukic. Now before you guys say, oh why are you using your special cards from Foot Champions? Personally for me, they will never come in handy. The only thing that I can use them for right now is for squad building challenges and bringing up the the rating because as far as I'm concerned like those players aren't good enough quality to be playing in foot champions yes I might have fun in some division matches but right now we're pushing up to division one where we're needing to build competitive teams and also in foot champions I'm looking to build some really good squads and Manzukic, Aspas and that just don't really cut it for me but anyway without further ado let's jump into some squad building challenges drop a like on the video if you are enjoying the series and let's get into it this one right here guys I was really interested in completing a 82 rated or higher in the pack. So basically they are guaranteeing you an 82 rated or higher, which is uh, pretty cool. It's nice to see the EAR changing things up. So what I did, I used all the players that I got from pack. So basically you could say that this cost me nothing I could go and sell the cards on. That is the argument there. I personally wouldn't really look to uh, sell them on. I would always use them as squad building challenge cards unless they went for ridiculous amounts if another squad building challenge was released and we weren't going to complete it. So yeah, anyway, th these cost me nothing. So we're going to get into this one. Oh my goodness. 82 rated plus. Oh, I know it's untradeable. You never know though. If it hits me an Aguero or a Dybala, I could just go and sell like Dybala on. Anyway, let's submit that. Team of the week tradable card. It's just crazy. I love it. And every single 84, 85 rated player has gone up slightly. Ruffier, I think you can sell him for 5,000 coins. I know Draxler, he went up to 4,000 or 5,000 coins where he wasn't even selling for 1,200 yesterday. So score building challenges really do help just bring some value back to the players. So 3, 5, oh sorry, 3, 4, 1, 2. It doesn't really matter what formation this is. 3, 4, 1, 2. You're needing an 84 rated team minimum, which is uh, very high. Two team of the week players which is no, no problem for us we had gone alongs so well actually i made a mistake we got alongs so i sold his other version on the one that we packed and then I made the mistake and I had to go and repurchase him. So he's only 15,000 coins, which is fantastic, actually, because not only is he 84 rated, that ticks off one of the team of the week players that you need. And then obviously Zubar in the attack. So I am going to be using players like Aspas. I can't send him on. I'm never going to use him. I didn't like what he was about. So why not use him in the squad building challenges? Otherwise, he's just going to be rotting at the club and I can't get anything from him. So let's go through the team. So we've got Rufia in goal, first owner. Most of these cards are first owner anyway. So I personally think it's worth us doing um i would have sold them on if i didn't do the score building challenge right now though i'm wanting i'm wanting that team of the week card come on i hope i hope for yaya Torre. please fingers crossed we get yaya Torre. we'll open that in just a second so with this challenge right here guys i'm only going to do one and see what kind of players we get back from the pack so it depends on which league you want to go down Liga un Serie a bundesliga premier league so basically you put in a full team like this and you get back three well, Bundesliga players as we're doing the Bundesliga one, or it depends, whichever one. So let's go through and I'll show you how much uh, these cards cost. Well, every single one should be first owner unless I purchase them for a squad and they may have cost me like 800 coins. No, they're all first owner, which is fantastic. So we're only going to do one of these. If it's good, then we'll look to do some more because you can repeat them, which is fantastic. And also the team of the week one you can repeat. This looks seriously crazy right now. Mega pack, 82 rated plus rare player, team of the week player, Bundesliga. I've never seen these packs before. We'll we haven't we've never seen these packs before so let's get straight into it the mega pack is what i'm going to open first i'm slightly nervous i want to get myself at least a good player from these packs even if they're not expensive just someone that i can use so let's go mega pack it's not going to be a walkout it's oh it's a november card 
almost decent actually. Luis Gustavo, I bet he sells for quite a bit for the fact that he's 84 rated and some people will need him for the score building challenge. That's awesome. I will actually take Luis Gustavo. Donnarumma as well, not a bad keeper. Let's check his price right now. I know he wasn't set... Oh my goodness, I thought for a second he was getting price fixed at 49,000 coins. 14k, you know, that's going to bring back some of the coins that I used for one of the challenges. I'm really happy with that. It could have been a lot worse. I'll take it. All of this stuff as well, I've got fitness cards for... You know what's happening today, foot champions. Cam, uh, centimeter to cam. Oh nice, backbone, uh, guardian chemistry style. And this stuff that I will send to the transfer. Not a bad start, man. I will take it. Literally one player that you're getting from this pack. If anyone guesses who I get without cheating, then fair play. <laughs> Seriously, because there's so many cards on the game. Anyway, let's open it. It's not going to be a walkout. Is it going to be a big player? No, nope. it's going to be a tiny player. It's going to give me... Florenzi. Guess who we're using? Florenzi. Is he tradable, though? That is the question. If he is, he is... Oh, so he's not tradable. Hold on, is he tradable or is he... No, 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 he's not. It says quick sell. No, so I'll send this one to the club and I'll use that today and place that one on the transfer. So, you know, we failed to pack Ronaldo in our elite one packs. We had two chances. Well, actually, we had six chances. We had two of those packs. It is our time to get Ronaldo. Team elite player, guaranteed, tradable. Hit me up. It's not. Give me IR Torre, though, please. Give me IR Torre, please. It's going to give me... It's going to be, give me Jermaine Defoe. It's going to give me Jermaine Defoe. 88 shot, though. You, you can't deny that this card looks pretty good. Very nice pace. Good dribbling. Fantastic shot. And he is tradable. How much is he going for right now? Yeah, 16,000 coins. I... Yeah, I spent a little bit more on the squad building challenge. That kind of sucked. 16k, though, yeah, you can't moan. I may even just keep him at the club for now, or shall I sell him on? Let me know. Shall I sell him or keep him? Last one to finish off all the packs. Bundesliga premium goal pack. We get 12 items from this. So we're getting the three guaranteed. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> um, someone should have written down that these were non-rares. Yeah. Oh, dear. That is just awful. What? the hell is that <laughs> i thought they were rare guaranteed rares just as well i didn't do more that is a waste of a pack i got my fitness card though which is awesome and maestro chemistry style that is that just sucks man why why ea so whenever ea do release sbcs and i'm not intending to complete them myself i will jump on the account and capitalize on the opportunity and sell most of my players Luis Gustavo, he wasn't selling for a thousand coins. As the squad building challenge has been released, 3k, which is some nice profit. Players like Kokoviak, 4,500 coins. Soma, 3,900. And when all this hype dies down, if I really want to go and purchase them, I can just buy them back. It's all good for cheaper. So we're always making coins. One player, though, that I'm really annoyed about, and I sold him before the SBC dropped, and it was. Where is he? I'll go back to Kante in just a second. I'll tell you my thoughts behind that. Uh, Draxler, I sold him for a thousand coins. He's now going for 4k. So with all the profit that I've made, it kind of balances itself out, especially with this guy. A silver for 7,000. Also bronze cards. I have an idea that a lot of people are investing in the overall league squad building challenge, Syria and uh, sorry, Syria and La Liga already. So you know we've had the Lacazette one, Jovinko being from the MLS, Liga Nos, which was Jonas. I think people are preparing themselves and buying up teams already or looking through the actual teams themselves and seeing if maybe there's only one center pack in a, in a squad where you're really needing that card. So a lot of the um, bronze Serie A are getting price fixed, which is uh, pretty insane. So I might even invest myself. We'll see. Anyway, going back to Kante, I sold him for 210,000 coins. The other week, he wasn't selling for 150. He was bouncing between 150, 170. I sold him on and I went and purchased the one to watch card for 325. He is now selling for 350. So I've already made some profit there. I'm never going to sell him though. That's just insurance just in case he does get an inform. I absolutely love him on this game. And I was wondering whether or not should I cash in and then use a few of my coins to get the one to watch card. And I think it's a good investment to be honest. Well, it's quite difficult for CDMs to get informs. However, he's already got one, so you never know it, can't eh? He's just cracking. He's just such a cracking player. Uh, so, yeah, all of those sold. William, I uh, got rid of. Socrates, 69,500. That was from the last episode where we used him. Zubar as well, and most of these cards are... Well, you're needing for Lacazette, so I just got rid of them. I don't think I'm going to complete Lacazette. It's just not worth it. I'd rather 
get my coin total up and then purchase a player like Ronaldo, Messi, a legend, or someone that I can eventually just trade on with. So yeah, anyway, let's go to the team and see if we've made any changes. I was just wondering what is going on in my right back position. Of course, we did pack Florenzi, so the untradeable version is coming in. The tradable, we will obviously sell. Here's Kante though. I purchased him, like I said, for 325,000 coins. Last time I checked his price, he was going for three feet. Oh my goodness, right. 345,000 coins. He looks like he's going up as well, which is just insane, man. 354. This is crazy. This is a good profit. I personally think someone is going around price fixing this guy, which is fine by me. Like, he's a good player anyway. Honestly, it's not just me saying this because I, I've got his card and I've got his one to watch. He is the best CDM on the game. And I don't care about height. You don't really need height, to be honest, because he has incredible jumping anyway. It's his strength, his tackling, his interceptions, the pace. He's just the best. And I have no problem purchasing him for 325, especially if I'm going to be making coins in the future and I've got that insurance there. So anyway, this is the team. No changes at all. I want to double check to see if I've got the custom tactics on because last episode, it changed that for me. Play instructions as well. That's looking all good. Get in behind. Oh my god, guys. I'm actually really nervous. I haven't started the foot champions. I never play on the Friday because the servers are really poor. Saturday is today, so you're going to be getting this as um, as the upload tonight. Oh my god. Wish me luck, guys. I have players like Abamyang to be brought on the bench. Is everyone fully fit? Yes, they are. Oh my goodness. Have I got the right chemistry style? No, I don't play with the uh, architect. I actually play with shadow for Kante. So just in case I want to bring him on, let's see if we've got the shadow chemistry style. Uh, we do have Gladiator, which improves his... No, I don't really like that. Right, let me go and purchase a Shadow Chemistry Cell for Kante, and then we'll get into some Foot Champions Weekend League. First game of the episode, guys, and we are facing Hazard, the 90-rated player of the month. Hazard with Jamie Vardy up top. It's a great team. I think he's gone very defensive, actually. So that allowed me to attack like this with Alan. Lovely little dip there. Alan with the shot, and it's going to come out for the rebound. Lovely dribbling. Did you see that? Alan, I did the skill where you, like, drop your shoulder and you flick back. I don't know how to explain it. It used to work on FIFA 15 a lot, like that one. I don't know what it's called. That's a really nice bit of skill. Just got a track back with Codrado. The pace is there. Well played. So overpowered. Absolutely love him. Good start to the game. I'm starting to get a feel for it. It is my first game today, guys, and I'm starting to get a feel for it. Lovely turn from Dybala. 2-0, guys. 2-0, and this is the start that we want for the weekend league. We are needing to do really well. We want to finish top 100. We want to get those team of the week packs. Let's do it, boys. And that ball is going to come straight to me. Look at Cordrado in space. Oh, we've hit him. No, we've hit him with the scoop turns. You know who's got really good free kicks that I noticed when I was playing Division 1 on my other account? Florenzi. And we're going to take it with Florenzi. Why is Dybala on it? Now, get off Dybala. Look at this. Where's Florenzi at? Where's, where is he at? Florenzi has... Oh, 79. Well, yeah. No, he, he, he can bang them, though. I'm hoping this goes in. Florenzi from the free kick. Go on. Oh, off the line. I tell you, he's got really accurate free kicks. Those right there are the half-time stats. 2-0 at the break. A good start to the weekend league. I'm, I'm actually needing to settle down myself. Six shots on target. We really should be 3-0 up. I'm not liking the positioning of my players right now. He has put me under some serious pressure. I'm through on goal, though. He's got a load of people in the attack. It is Quadrado to finish off the game. That was really poor from me. And we've got lucky in Paris. It's just missed an open goal. I've got to be honest and say, he's not a bad defender. Uh, maybe we caught him off guard because it was early in the game, which is fantastic. No, no, no way, no way. No way. Kante brought him on at halftime and he's already scored a goal for me. Fantastic. One game, one goal with this new one to watch card. I was just saying, though, maybe we caught him off guard uh, when the game started and he wasn't ready for our attack. Right now, though, I've just slowed down the game, really. It wasn't anything like last weekend where we were getting rage quits after rage quits. A good start to the weekend league, though. 3-0, I'll take that result. When I went 3-0 up in that game, he started to take my players out. Kante has picked up an injury and also nine Golan. One thing that really annoys me about FIFA 17 is that you can go in from behind with a slide tackle. And I'm not saying every single tackle from behind should be a red card. When you see the intent there and you know you called it straight away, that should be a red. And the referee doesn't even give a yellow card. That's broken in my opinion. And let me know your thoughts behind that. Maybe it's just me. Uh, we do have a, a, knee, a knee healing card. I was about to say a kneel. A knee healing card and I guess... 
I guess we use that on Akante. Oh, yeah, I will. I will. I'm not going to risk it. Akante is just fantastic to be brought on. So I will use the knee healing for Nangolan. That's a must. And then I'll put one on Akante. The rest, though, I do have fitness cards as we open quite a few packs. Well, I didn't open... Well, I did open the packs. I didn't go and purchase the packs. I did them from the squad building challenges. So let's go and put... A squad fitness on plus 30 that should help can't say he wasn't fully fit when going into that game let me just quickly check him yeah he's got 99 fitness now fantastic the team is ready for the second game let's continue this form is it the same formation dear oh dear 4-3-3 attacking with ronaldo in that left wing position we're gonna have to defend him well that's going to be spreading the play of the 4-3-2-1. I may even have to change up the formation, to be honest. We need to get that challenge in. No, we can't afford the players to be bombing up the pitch when you've got Ronaldo there. I may have to go on defensive. I'm going to stick it on defensive. That's a lovely ball through to Morata. Good. Well played. And through. Look at that run. Who is that? Is it Quadrado in behind? Oh, lovely from Quadrado. Get in there, Finesse. He's going to rush that pass. Thank you very much. I will clean that up. Marquisio. Good hold up play from Marquisio. Is it going to open up for that ball through to Allen? Oh, to Stegen with a huge save. That's not what I want to do. Lovely from Allen. Well played. Whoa, what play? Nine go, Lan. Lovely. And that was all Dybala's hold up play. I, I'm actually pretty surprised. With him being so small, he can hold on to the ball incredibly well. That chip up from Pedrado. It, where is he wanting it? Quadrado's pointing. I'm, I'm going to lay it back down the line to him. Oh, my camera's cut off, but I can't risk putting it on right now because I'm in a really good position and I've scored with Dybala just as well. I didn't put my camera back on. I will do it right now. That's the second time in a row it's happened to me. Oh, no, was that? I think it was the career mode episode. When something happens, my camera always switches off. But it's all good, man. I had to take that goal. 2 0 up in this game awesome from Dybala. Love him. Absolutely love him. The story of this game right now is that we've been taking our chances. Only three shots when we've been through though. Two goals scored from that. I'm very happy. I am going to be making those substitutions though. Well, I say substitutions. One sub which is taking Allen off and bringing on Kante just for fresh legs. Also, Koscielny could be a nice replacement depending on if we've got like a three goal lead. I may look to bring on a, more of a defensive player. Right now though, I'm happy. Lovely ball through to Perisic. Dybala. Hold on to it. Give it back to Perisic. I'm waiting for Dybala. Is he going to make that bursting run? Give it back to Perisic. Oh, no. Oh, he's been a little bit off today, uh, to be honest. It was a good challenge. Good recovery from him. It was that I should probably have been able to get the shot away a little sooner. Oh, dear. I don't know what Quadra did there. I went for the um, rainbow flick. It didn't work. And I'm going to pop that through to Perisic. Here, redeem yourself, Perisic. That's a lovely turn. What a goal. Now, that is the Perisic that I know. He has that in his locker. 3-0 should be game over. No, no, no. Don't start this. Rage quit. That affects our skill points. I think anyway. I don't really know how it works. Obviously, being in the game for longer is going to help your case finishing higher up the table. Right now, though, it's a rage quit. Two wins already. Great start. Fitness levels are high. We've got Dybala with four games, six goals, four assists. So not only is he scoring, he's assisting. I personally think he is the kind of striker to get a positive ratio for me. It's pretty difficult in foot champions. Some games are 1-0 wins, so it really does affect that. Looking at uh, a player like Aubameyang, though, 111, 90 goals, 52. And that's with me playing him striker every single game. Whereas someone like Lacazette, I brought him back to center mid position. Still a good uh, return, though, and he feels great. I would love eventually to bring Lacazette, Aubameyang, and Dybala into a team together. I don't even think that's possible. Is it? No, I don't think so. No, because you can't get a hyperlink. Oh, you could with Higuain. And then where would I play a Bamiang? I don't even know. Anyway, guys, we're ready for the third and final game of the episode. Let's continue. Let's get another win. Come on. We've got to finish top monthly. Top monthly? Top 100 monthly. Come on. Last game. We need another win. Oh, dear, oh, dear. Olivier Giroud up top. So maybe he's going to play it into him. Hold on to possession a little bit. Feed it into Sterling and player of the month. Hazard. He's got a great look inside. Is that Perisic? Oh, Smalling's there. Small Dini, man. He's very difficult to get past. Fantastic challenge from Manolas, though. That was a really good tackle. Let's do the one-twos quickly. Through. Oh, oh, he's got a good defense. That's it. Good work. Work it in the box again. Lovely pass. Around the corner. Nearly. Oh, he's rushed it. Quadrado. And give it back to him. Finish. That's lovely. I love that. When you build up and you just 
keep passing it around the defender. It feels good. Very satisfying when it works. That's a lovely finish. We needed that goal, to be honest. Good work from him. Get down get down the line. Yep, 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 yep. That was a lovely run from Dybala. I'm going to hit him with that Berber. Perisic, great turn. And that's where the Firestar weak foot comes in. That's where I find him dangerous. It's just a shame that that got blocked. Good dribbling from Quadrado. I'm going to try and find this way. Back to Quadrado, into the box. Flick around the corner. Yeah, I nearly got lucky. No, he's rushing. See, that's the one thing that he's doing, which is playing into my tactic because he will rush and give the ball back to me and it just piles on the pressure good save in the end from Begovic seven shots on target for us guys and we're only leading by the one goal which is worrying I'm hoping to get that second goal sharpish I will take off Allen though and replace him with Kante fresh legs you know and that's the tactic I'm going to be using I may even bring on a Bamiang to finish off this game we'll have to see I'm looking for that second goal man Yes, finish it. Dybala. Oh, Begovic. I hate Begovic. Do you know who I hate? Two goalkeepers that I despise. Begovic and Farman. Good play. Around the corner. Perisic. He's in behind now. He's got the pace on Smallin. He's in behind. Come on, Perisic. Work your magic. Beautiful. Pe oh, I love Perisic. I actually really do like him. Even though he's not the quickest. Uh, has he got an inform? He hasn't got an inform. No, that was last. Has he got an inform? No, I don't think he has. That was last... FIFA. Yeah. I want an inform Perisic. It never actually used to be this bad. For whatever reason, as soon as someone goes two goals down now, they rage quit. It's ridiculous. Like, seriously. So we are finishing off today's episode on three wins. 37 games remaining. i got to get on the grind. Tonight I will play. Sunday I will play. There's no problem finishing the games. It's just making sure we get the wins and play well. Current performances, though, very impressed. Defensively, we've been sound. Haven't really been given up too many chances. Even facing Ronaldo, he didn't really mu do much with him. I may, in fact, bring in the inform Forenzi and Manolas while we can test them. Um, might as well. We'll see. I'll try and work out and, and see if we can make some uh, some coins. I want to check the leaderboards though. Top 100. If, if I show you actually uh, monthly already, where are we? Elite. We're already in the elite. So we're going to get three, uh, sorry, 11 guaranteed special cards, which we can use for score building challenges. Monthly though, they're on 114. So they're on 114 and what are we on? 105. So if they can stay on 114, that'd be absolutely fantastic. Then I'll just blitz past them, I hope, anyway. Drop a like on the video if you have enjoyed today's episode. And like I said, would you like me to purchase Malonas Forenzi? And do you think it was a good idea, us purchasing Kante? We've already made coins, and I love Kante, so I hope it's a good idea. Thanks for watching. Team out. Peace.